Hey guys, got up this morning, decided to do a little chopping while it wasn't raining and it felt decent out. While I was sitting here, I got to thinking about which axe in my personal collection, albeit it's pretty small, but which axe is most important to me. And of course you start thinking about your most valuable axe money-wise as being a top contender for that then you start thinking about the axe that is easiest to use or most aesthetically pleasing but in my case I'd say that my most valuable axe currently is the one that I grab to train with and honestly I do a lot of my work with it as well but that would be this old to a Tahi, one of the old school two piece designs. You can actually see a line where the two sections of metal meet. I believe they're bolted together. You can see that line going across it, maybe. But this is the axe that. If I'm gonna chop, I definitely have this with me. It's the ax that I'd say is currently my most versatile one. I can use it to split, I can use it to limb, use it for bucking, felling, and of course, timber sports training. But the good thing about this specific ax is I got it for free. It was all, it was all dinged up, had big chunks missing out of it. So starting off, I really didn't care about what happened to it because it's already been messed up pretty bad. But I was able to learn some stuff about cleaning up the edges and doing a little bit of tuning. Um, but I had to remove, I don't know, a quarter inch, maybe more than that, just to get where there was an even profile, which made just behind the edge fairly fat so this thing is tough as nails um, I put it in all types of wood and softer stuff all the way up to oak knots and all kinds of crazy stuff I've run it through bullets before embedded in trees nails um, and it it takes it pretty well but course when I got it it didn't have a handle in it so I think I've put two handles in it that were just something I was able to order online that were actual race handles but they weren't very good quality and after I broke that second one I decided to get into the whole hand carving whatever a handle for this thing so I went and got a piece of ash and came out with this Got a help. Got some help along the way. Some good pointers and some videos. But did that. And yeah, this is this is definitely my most important axe because I'm not scared to use it. It's heavy enough that I can train for using race axes. It's robust enough that I can put it in any type of wood and not be scared that I'm gonna destroy it. And it's just it's old beat up so one thing that's ironic about it is it doesn't have much value if I were to go to like sell this to somebody but to me it's almost priceless because I don't have to worry about buying new chinas all the time or using my china out here on this nasty stuff I can just use this and keep rolling with the punches so I know a lot of people don't have these type of axes. So I, anybody that watches this video, I would like for them to put a, a small description or comment, obviously in the comments, about what's their most used, most versatile, or most valuable axe to them. 
and why that is. And get a little discussion going in the comments section. I'm starting to get a little more time on my hands now, so hopefully I'll be able to crank out some good quality videos more often and get some projects done that I said I was going to do. So share this with somebody who might be interested. And thanks for watching.